Hey guys, Jared back. So we're going to be taking a look at Nexus 5 Experience ROM for your Nexus 4. Uh, now this is actually Sanjin Mod 11, but with the Nexus 5 Experience all over it. Um, hence the Nexus 5 Experience ROM, the name. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's kind of cool because, uh, again, this is Sanjin Mod 11, but, you know, as you can see, we can swipe to, um, I guess that would be swiping to the right, um, brings out our uh, Google Now, which is awesome, right? We also have the uh, Google Dialer, which is fully working. You know, obviously the Google Launcher with the um, translucent uh, status bar and uh, navigation bar down here at the bottom. Um, we pull, and obviously, as you can see, also it's got all of the um, KitKat colorings and things like that theming, I should say. Um, jumping into the application tray, there really isn't anything here for you guys to get excited about. Um, it's all pretty much standard. This is a very, very slim ROM um, with just the right amount of customizations, especially if you like Sanish Mod um, 11 as well as uh, the Nexus 5 experience, and this ROM would be really, really cool for you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the notification tray here, or I should say quick pull down or quick tile settings. Ugh. Um, you've got the torch off, or the torch, it's off right now, but you do have the option to toggle the torch. Again, another Sanish Mod 11 feature. Jump into the settings here. Aside from the uh, um, actual ROM customization uh, section in the menu here. There's a couple of others. So if we scroll down to the bottom um, or actually scroll through it towards the bottom, you'll notice we don't have direct access to that app ops um, menu. But if we click on security, scroll to the bottom, you notice we have privacy guard. So if we click on privacy guard, um, and this is actually something I enabled, but by default, this is enabled. So if you have additional uh, applications downloaded, like user downloaded applications, they'll start to list here. Um, or if you really wanted to, you can go ahead and click on show built-in apps to show all of the um, um, system applications. I had a brain fart there. Uh, now, to get to app ops, you click on the overflow menu again, and you actually just get into advanced here, and that is where we are, app ops. So you can make any changes you want here, which is awesome. Um, let's get out of here and then down at the bottom as you can see we also have blacklist uh, as well as um, SMS message limit. So let's get out of there and we'll move back up at the top. There really isn't much in sounds. Um, all the standard Sanjin Mod 11 stuff that you would expect to find is here. Um, you know, the charging sounds as well as the launch, uh, the music application of your uh, choosing based on when you plug your um, uh, headset in or auxiliary cable or whatever it might be. Uh, display and lights here, same thing. Pretty standard Sanjin Mod 11 stuff with, um, you know, pulse notification light and the battery light uh, options. Um, we also have buttons here, not a whole lot. Power menu, same as you would expect from Sanjin and mod, um, play control, keyboard cursor control, and reorient volume controls. Um, I don't know why you would want to have volume up on the volume down, but I guess some people have requested it, which is why the option is there, but I think it's silly. Um, let's move into lock screen here. So again, a lot of the standard stuff you're gonna find here. We do have one option here, which is the quick unlock, which is just, you just long press on the um, on the lock button, and then it just unlocks your device automatically. But the in order to actually get that working, you have to not only select that, but also maximize widgets. So as you can see here, we'll turn the device off, turn it back on or lock it and unlock it. And um, you'll notice that now that beautiful lock screen widget with all of the uh, shortcuts are no longer there. So we just go ahead and long press on the lock button and obviously you have to do it quick enough before the display times out. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not particularly interested in that. So we'll back out of there for now and jump into interface here. Again, basic Sanjin Mod 11 stuff, status bar, quick settings panels, all the customizations you would want for all these things as you would expect. Um, we do have expanded desktop, so you can uh, make the status bar visible or hide it if you want to. Um, buttons and layouts, so some different navigation bar stuff. Click the unlock button, you can make some additional uh, things in here, such as, say, for instance, a dedicated menu button. Some people find really, really handy, so that's an option. Um, and quick launch shortcuts. So obviously from the home screen swiping up, instead of just having access to the Google search, you can uh, put in your own two uh, custom applications, which is awesome. So backing out of there, we also have, check that out, and I, I'm sure you guys have spotted this out already. Yes, we do have Halo with the option to disable or enable it completely. So go ahead and enable it, there she be. And we can make all the necessary modifications and changes that we want for, um, for Halo. Uh, anyways, guys, that is pretty much the extent of this. As you can see, it is Sanjin Mod 11 with Halo 
and a Nexus 5 experience. Um, I think this ROM's fantastic for people that uh, still have your Nexus 4s, which are quite a few of you guys out there. Um, this combines, I think, you know, Halo, that's an awesome option to have, and I love how they allow us to enable or disable it um, at our whim. And um, I love the Nexus 5 experience uh, altogether. I just love the experience that I get from my Nexus 5, so having it on the Nexus 4, I think, is a great option, uh, as well as the Google Dialer. I really like the Google Dialer nowadays. Um, and um, uh, as well as, oh, of course, having all these Sanj Mod 11 um, customization options at your fingertips. Um, I think it's a fantastic ROM for the next four. You really can't go wrong. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, of course, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you guys can go straight to the uh, XDA um, ROM thread. I'll also be following this video up uh, with um, a how to install video. So for those of you out there that need a visual aid, there you go. Uh, anyways, guys, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, click that likes button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But that's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you the next one. Cheers guys.